Hi, I'm Ross, International Sales Manager here at Alphacure. I'm just going to do a quick video today about uh, issues that you may have with your lamps to see whether it actually is the lamp or something else on your system. The first thing to check is your reflectors. Um, if you have a dirty reflector, then it won't work in your system very well because 70% of the UV that actually goes onto the substrate is from the reflector. Uh, so I'm just going to demonstrate a dirty reflector which can block the cure. So as you can see, it's very dirty, looks grey, um, misty, cloudy, so you would get not a very good cure through that reflector. A clean reflector would look something like this, whereby you can see fully all the way through. You should get uh, a coating on it, usually a dichroic coating, which helps to reflect the UV better. So long as these are kept in good condition and maintained well and cleaned regularly when you have your system down for maintenance, then you shouldn't have many issues with the reflector. I'm just going to show you the best way to clean a reflector. It can either be through a, an alcohol wipe, which I have here, or some isopropanol alcohol and a lint-free cloth. So you just clean the body of the reflector and then that should help extend the life of the reflector. The next thing to check is if your system is running too hot. Uh, if it's running too hot this can make the lamp look cloudy and grey and um, basically to do to get around this is you would look at the bolt check the bolts in your system and reduce the heat this is a lamp that has run too hot as you can see it has all the markings along the lamp in the cloudiness to have a lamp that works it should look something like this this will help with running your system better so long as the lamp is kept in this condition, then you will get more hours and you won't get as many failures. Clean the lamp regularly when you maintain the system. This will help to keep it clean. Uh, also, it will help with the UV flowing through the lamp. You won't have as many issues with heat and always, if you can wear gloves as I am, uh, try to use an isopropanol alcohol and a lint-free cloth I suggest don't touch the lamp body with your fingers because that can leave a mark on the body which then makes it the weakest part of the lamp and it can reduce the lamp hours. The next issue you may encounter is mirroring which as you can see there occurs on the ends of the lamp. That is when there's too much cold air flowing across the lamp and specifically on the ends. This means that you're not getting as good a cure and Basically, you need to keep the lamps running at above 600 degrees on the ends to ensure that this issue doesn't happen. If you see this issue, then you're most likely going to get reduced lamp life hours and UV output. The last thing to check is the airflow on your system. Uh, if you have contaminated airflow or not flowing properly airflow, you can get what we call devitrification along the lamp of the length of the lamp. Uh, this basically turns the quartz back to its original state um, and it no longer transmits UV as well. Therefore, you don't get as much UV out onto the substrate. The best thing to do is keep the air clean and dry um, and also get it maintained regularly. So those are the main things to check if your system isn't curing properly. Another thing that we would suggest is to check for humidity around your system and if the lamp is running or the system is running near to any metalwork. Uh, if you're in a humid country, uh, then definitely have a dehumidifier in and around the system because that can cause the lamp to trip out if there's too much heat and humidity in the air. If you've been through the list that I've discussed today and you're still having issues with your UV system and UV lamps curing, please feel free to give us a call on 0044 and a member of our technical team will be happy to assist you. Thank you.